Hello students. Today we will create a new project in Scratch and we will title the project as Math Calculator. Here we will delete the cat sprite and we will paint a new sprite. Before that we will take a picture of a calculator from Google. You can go to Google or any browser and look for the images. Take any calculator image. Supposing I take this image of a calculator, I right click on the image, save image as, and in your pictures folder, I save it as calculator. Then I close this window and close this part and I upload it as a sprite the same picture of calculator open it and place it in one corner if the image is looking too big you can resize from the size option in the properties and make it 80 size and place it in the corner now I will start the coding for this from events when the green flag is clicked we'll make three variables from variables make a new variable called first number another variable I will make second number and one more variable calculator answer so these are the three variables we will have and I will place them appropriately on the stage now we will use the set command here set first number to 0 then set second number to 0 and set calculated answer to 0 so in the beginning when you press the green flag all these three are set as 0 now we will paint a new sprite we will use the rectangle shape tool and make a box and with the line tool I will change the color of the line and also thickness I can increase and then I will draw one line and another line so this will look like a plus symbol and this is the sprite for plus button if you feel it is too big you can resize it you can either select it from here and then drag it inwards and resize it now I will duplicate this I will first name this sprite as plus sprite and then I will right click on the sprite and duplicate now here I will rename this as minus and I will have to erase this vertical line so I can use the fill tool and fill the vertical line with this purple color again so this looks like a minus sign now I will again duplicate the slide the sprite and rename this as multiply and here 
I will actually I will rename it as divide divide and then we have the minus sign and I'll use the circle tool and uh, I will change the fill color to the border color to black and then make this dot here I can move it with my keyboard arrow keys and I want to fill with the same shade so here I can use the color picker in the fill option and bring my color picker on the green line and when the circle fills with the green color that becomes the same shade of green color here now I can duplicate the same circle I can press Control C and then click outside and Control V okay this Control C and V is not working so let me again try to control Z and there is a copy button but here this one now I again select the circle and click on the copy button and then again click on the paste button and the same size of the circle is made copy and I place it right here so this becomes my division sprite then I click the plus sprite and duplicate it and this was my divide so I rename this here as divide enter and this is my plus 2 I will rename this as multiply and I click on I use the select tool to select this line here and I try to I'll press undo here and I'll try to turn it from down here there's a turn button a rotate button so I rotate it like this then I click on the second line and then click on the rotate tool oh sorry click undo and click here on the rotate so this one is the first line now I click on the second line and click on the rotate tool to rotate the second line and I can move it little down and this becomes my multiplication symbol if I want this one little stretched you can do that so now I have all the four operator buttons as sprites now we'll be doing the coding for the plus button in the coding for the plus button there's the sprite here we'll be using from events when this sprite is clicked as soon as I press the plus button sprite we should add first number and second number and place it in the calculated answer variable here so before that we have to ask for the first number and second number so from sensing we will use the ask command and here we will name the question as what is the first number mark and whatever answer the person gives we have to store that answer in the variable set first number set the first number variable to the answer of this question let us run this so here it is asking what is the first number uh, if it is blocking this one so I can just drag it little up now I can see the question and if I type here 23 so you can see 23 number has been stored in the first number the first number variable sets to answer same way we can just duplicate this ask command and place it down here and change this to second number what is the second number 
and change this to second number set second number to answer now when I run it it will ask both what is the first number if I say 2 and the second number 4 both the numbers are stored here variables now we'll do the coding for the plus button and the coding is when this sprite is clicked you have to set calculator answer to now from operators we'll bring the addition operator and in the first part of the addition operator we'll be putting the first number and in the second part of this operator addition operator we'll drag and place the second number and this whole thing we'll drag and place it in the operator here for setting the calculator runs let us run this when I press the green flag if I type the first number 23 and the second number 56 and now when I press the plus button it gives the answer as the addition of these two numbers if also I want to save the I want the button to speak the answer we can use the speak command from text to speech speak and it can we will have to join uh, text and the variables so from operator I bring join apple banana And in the first part, we will write addition of the two numbers is space. And what will be coming here? Which variable will show here? Calculated answer. Correct. Now, let us run this again. So, first number, 12. Second number 43 and when I press the plus sprite. So we could also hear that the answer is 55. We'll do the same coding now for the minus button. I can put this in the backpack. I open the backpack here and I drag this when the sprite clicked coding here. And this code has been added in the backpack now I go to minus symbol sprite and I drag this code here in the minus sprite I get the same code do you know what is to be changed children yes in the operators we have to change the addition operator to subtraction operator and then place the first number and the second number and drag this back here and we'll change this to the subtraction of the two numbers is calculator answer correct let me do for the multiply and drag this coding and make the change here multiplication first number divided by second number multiplied by second number sorry and here the product if you want the product of the two numbers is last sprite divide drag this and drag this out now for the division children the operator looks like this with the forward slash this is the division operator first number divided by second number and place it inside this and here the division of the two numbers is calculator answer now I can just save my project so that I don't lose it and play it in full screen when I press the green flag all the three variables are set to zero it is asking me the first number 12, 
second number if I say four now when I click the plus sign it is the now when I press the multiply button and the division button wow this works fantastically and you'll be happy to code your own math calculator. Happy coding.